Welcome back to Songstar Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're going to play the Amazing American Circus, a demo of this game. Now this is a roguelike deck builder but instead of the combat they're actually doing the circus show which I think is pretty amazing. So let's get this started. I so love the music in this game. It's just so circusy, you know? It's just it's really good. Alright, so, here you can see your characters and here you've got your enemies or I guess viewers and you can pick a card. This card is adjusted to the person related to them, so this is going to be here on our juggler and the effect is that it's going to impress the audience. It's going to give 4 points to this miner, so he's going to be impressed by 4. If you get it to 10, then he's happy and he disappears. This also gives us a buff, so we're going to play this on ourselves as we're supposed to. Uh, actually, we have to click on, on who we want to who we want to impress. Okay. Now we get a buff that we get plus one juggling ball. This is an impression card. Okay, then the enemies go and their goal is to attack. So they're going to increase stress of my players by five. So the way this works is that if this gets to 10, they don't like die or anything or leave the show. But what happens is they will lose a card of theirs. So here these cards are cards that belongs to these uh, characters, obviously, and we lose some of them if this goes to maximum. If they run out of cards, uh, then they will leave the stage and that's really bad for you. So essentially when you play a card, it will go into your like a discard or exile pile and essentially you do not, when you run out of discard card, they do not automatically come back. You have to reshuffle and that causes stress to all of your performers. So you want to try to avoid that because that again well, can make them lose a card and lose. So we're going to place this finger lift, which is going to give us a block. So you can see that they're attacking the clown, so we're going to give the block to the clown. And you see here that we've got seven block. So we're going to end our turn and then these cards go back to the discard pile and we've get new ones. All right. Next we can play a cherry picker. This is again going to impress the, the player and give us a buff. We get more juggling balls. Now as we play these cards we gain extra, I guess, point for a special ability or star attraction. So what we can do is we can click on this and we can do the star attraction which is riding a unicycle. And that's going to give, well, stress in this case to the, it's going to impress the, the spectacle so we get some extra points. Our audience is happy and content, but it's not the end. Some shows consist of more than just one act, so we move to the next act. And now we have to again uh, impress these new people. So they're both attacking my, doesn't actually tell you his name, my guy over here. So we're going to do a track flip, which gives him a buff. And then I'm going to play a finger lift, which will in give him a block. Now, the buff he got is changes block received by 3, decreases by 0 at the end of turn. So he actually is going to get 10 blocks. So it's really important to play the buff cards first, before you play the regular cards. We still have one charisma left. A charisma is essentially mana in this game. Block one for each block card used during this performance. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Draw one card for each shuffled card your hand into so this is good because this means it doesn't go into the discard pile so that's actually that could be useful but we get different cards which is not that useful for us here but we'll give ourselves a buff so let's give a buff to this person double impress double the next impression effect value yes yeah, so now we could use actually um 
impressing and we've got impress 4 but if you click on this we'll get impress 8 before because of the buff this game is really about buffing yourself and debuffing the enemy i found that it's really focusing on the special effects a lot Right, so they're hitting me for 10, but because we had the block, we didn't actually get hit at all. So Tant All makes it so that everyone is going to attack this, our main guy. Which could be pretty useful, because we don't know if we've got some protection for the clown. But then again, it does cost 2 charisma, so we wouldn't be able to use much of anything else. I think we'll start with Hercules. Hold would give us block 6 to all. Let's do it. And then I'm going to try to impress this miner. Because that should get into 10, so he's going to leave. Well, actually, he's not going to leave. He's going to be happy and not attack me. That's what I meant to say. And then you've only got this guy, who actually he's not really attacking. He's just decreasing artist impression effect. And I don't know if that applies to the taunt. We're going to have to wait and see if, if the taunt will take this or not. So this, by the way, is a very bad effect to have on your people because for like the way I use the buff to get from impression 4 to impression 8, obviously if this lowers every impression it can be really bad. I want to use this unicycle thing because it does give us a lot of good impressions. Oh, actually we were done. That went better than expected. Alright. Now we are here in our home. And we can do a couple of things. So we are currently located in Seattle. Here you can see our fame. In the demo version, if you get 15 fame points, it ends the game. This is, if you enter this, this is where you prepare the next show. So you pick your um, showman, essentially, and you pick your, like, the main attraction, like the one that we very have the unicycle, change that to something else. Here we can uh, see the stands view. And here we can see the map. So we're gonna click on this the recruitment card. And here we could try to get a new artist. So we could get Clancy Bonbon, and here we can see his card. Daisy the Quick Juggler or Tiny Joe. Since we already have all of these, I don't think we need another set. But obviously, once this is gonna be out of um, the demo, there are gonna be a lot more characters that we can have. Here you can go to the map, so we can see we could try to move to a different area. So we could say, hey, we wanna move to Spokane or something, but I don't think we need to do that just yet. We can go back to our little view. Here we can see our list of artists. So the list of cards that the artist has in possessions and the set of cards that we picked for the show. So if we had them at a higher level, we would be able to gain more cards and move so the, the perfect set here into our list. Here we have a training ground. So what I can do is I can actually train my people. So I can pay 20 gold, we have 100 gold to try to gain experience. So I'm gonna pick here my Nelly. I'm going to name it after one of my patrons, it's going to be Zemkat, and Zemkat here, Kid the Man Lifter. <laughs> so this is Zemkat, then we've got, uh, we've got Timo the Man Lifter and Mr. M Michal, okay? So we're gonna train Zemkat, or oh, we have to gain experience in order to be able to train them. Okay, so I guess not yet. Alright, oh, yeah, never mind. And recruitment card, like I've said, we don't want to do that. So let's just go to the show. So first we'll pick the star attraction. Impress 15 a random uh, spectator is what it does, by the way, and you can... Actually, we can really... Can we change it? We only have one, I think, so we can really change it. We're gonna put it here because it's our only option. Then we're gonna put our artist, so we're gonna put Zemcat, uh, Timo the Manlifter, and Mr. Michael. And our perks are Impression Boost, Random Artist Gains 3... I guess three bonus to impression, I think that's what that is. And three umbrella buff. Umbrella buff is the block buff. And we can change the ticket price. Obviously, the higher the ticket price, the less people are going to come. But we could, we're gonna spend, we're gonna actually increase it to one. But we're gonna spend some time focusing on posters and maybe on a parade. Let's put 20 into parade and see how well it's gonna go. And we've got three people. So the mine foreman is going to give all the spectators a buff. Then they're going to attack Kid Timo the Manlifter, and then they want to attack Mr. Michael. Increases stress, so, so they're going to increase his stress. This is interesting. This increases stress of target artist by one five times instead of just straight up by five. Okay, 
Remove block, impress for every two block points removed. This could be useful, but like I said, loses our block, obviously. Here we have a bonus. Change star traction charges gained by three decreases by one at the end of the turn until it hits zero. This number here is telling you how much charisma it costs, and this number on the bottom is telling you uh, how much, uh, how many points is that going to give us to the star attraction. So we can see we get five here. We're going to give block six to everybody, which means we won't get hit at all, which is super important. You could still press, press impress two buff self one, so we're going to do it. I want to focus on this guy because in my test game I focus on the foreman, but the problem is that the foreman has an ability to decrease his, I guess, enjoyment of the game. And so it's really hard to get him to 30. And in the meantime, these other people can do a lot of damage to you. So this is why this time I want to focus on these other two. And then once we get rid of them, then we can focus on the foreman. Sorry about the sirens. That's uh, over here. Not in your area. All right. Shuffle five random cards from this card into your deck. This can be quite useful because like I said, if you have to shuffle the cards back, it's a really big problem, but it takes away from my points for my uh, star attraction block three what are they doing so this person is reducing his own enjoyment we don't care about that decreases the impression of my timo whatever his name was on, on timo and then this decreases impression effect of michael all right so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with we could give a block and then remove now this would remove all buffs, impress 4 for each buff removed, so this would give us impress 8, which would allow us to get rid of this person right now. So this would be impress 8, so let's do that. Because then, oh, it just isn't enough. I didn't realize, oh, I miscalculated that. No. Man. Oh man, oh man. I guess we're just gonna give a buff to self then. I should have done the buff first, it would have been well enough, but I was already thinking about the buff and didn't make it work. Oh well. It's fine. Change those effect by one, decreases by one at the end of the hits its turn. Okay, so now we need to impress for three this guy so we can get rid of him because he's gonna do 10 attack. Now this miner is doing an attack of 10 and this one is doing an attack of 8. That's both really really bad. I can get a block 6 and I can get a block 13 on this guy which is not enough because they're hitting me for 18 but I think it's a good decision. I don't know why I played on, on them when this is going to go on our main guy here but still. And then we want to put a finger left. We don't have the money for a finger left. So I guess we'll just get a buff. But we can use the unicycle on a tightrope, which if it affects this miner, it'll actually work out pretty well for us. Buff self draw one. And keep doing that. And we get a truck flip, which we can use. Okay, so let's use the unicycle and really hope that it affects this miner and not the main miner foreman. Otherwise, we're going to lose one card on Timo. Yes. So now he's only hitting me for eight and I've got a block of six. So this actually worked out better than I expected. Okay. So we can impress him for four. What is he doing? Summon two miners. Yeah. So ideally, we'd like to get rid of them this turn, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Double the next impression effect value. So this will do an effect of eight. Let's do that. Then we'll do impress two and buff self one. Or do we, this is just shuffling your hand into the deck. Let, let's play this first. You don't have a block, so removing block is pointer. So let's do a shuffle your hand into deck. We'll try it. I'm hoping to get some of the free cards on Zencat that would allow me... Okay, we didn't get that. Okay, never mind. This, the fact that he gives us two more miners is pretty bad. Okay. 
impasse 4 for each buff remote, so this would give us 12, so this would allow us to almost get rid of, of this 4 man. If I give myself an extra buff, this is going to be 16, which is, this is going to be 16, I mean, which is still not enough. And it means we wouldn't be able to take any blocks, we would take, take 10, 10 damage over there on my main guy, but we're gonna do it. Anyway, so let's use this. Remove self and impress him for 16. Because next turn we should be able to finish him off. And we've got no more stuff, so we'll end our turn. Okay, he's trying to decrease his stress level by 2. Okay, so this is the problem because we ran out of cards. So now we're actually are going to give 5 stress to everybody. And that's going to get this guy to 15, which is why we have to get rid of one card. So what we're going to get rid of is this remove block because we're not really using it. And you can see now only has 4 cards left and everybody else has some... Um, is essentially five stress because we had a block here it's actually less so let's rid of this one get rid of the mine foreman i think it was still a good idea to focus on the two miners first because we had that one turn when we could only focus on the foreman that was super helpful they're just decreasing impressions of everybody so this is pretty okay we'll do impress three on this one because why not and i'm gonna give a buff to, to Zemka because we use Zemka the most. She gets a cell defense and extra juggling ball, so not particularly useful for us here, but that's okay. And she gets a negative effect of lowered impression, which is not ideal, but that's okay. They're attacking um, Timo for 5 and uh, Zemka for 10, so we're gonna give block to everybody. And then we're going to give Zemka a little bit of extra block, so she'll get a block of 9. We'll give her another buff. And then she'll use Impress 2 on this guy. And this is going to give her just more buffs. Just generally more buffs, it's all good. And we're doing pretty okay here. Oh, 5 damage to every artist, no! Okay, good thing we had some blocks. Okay, remove all buffs in four each for each buff. So she has four buffs, so this would be 16. This allows us... No, actually just... Oh, so actually it takes into account the debuff. I didn't expect that. So we'll give her one extra. So now it should work for, six, for 12. Yes, because it only counts for the... Okay, so... Okay, I said that wrong. It will, it's not the buffs, it's just the juggling balls. So that's why... Okay. So it wasn't that it actually decreased, it's just the juggling balls. This is... Still, it should be 4 times 4. Oh, 4 times 4, but minus the decrease here. Which is why it's 12. So 12 is enough to get rid of this one. So we'll just do it. <laughs> Took me a moment there to calculate that properly. Sorry about that. Still have enough cards. We've got four in our draw cards. So next turn... Next turn actually we would have to go to the shuffle. So I don't want to do it. So I'm going to use the wild clown chase. And gain cards back. But they're gonna hit him for five, so we'll lose the points on that anyway. Might have been a little bit of a waste of, of time. Oh, okay. But at least the others won't get increased stress. Use the cherry picker again. Mostly just juggling balls. That's all we're doing. But it's okay. Yeah, so he get to ten, so we're gonna lose a card on him. We'll lose the shuffle your hand into your deck because we're not using it regardless. Okay. He is just decreasing impression, so we're gonna do some buffs to ourselves. And do some impressing. And we can use the unicycle which should allow us to win. Because that's gonna give 15 to a random person, we only have one person, so we are victorious. 
Let's see if that gives us some level ups, because I would love to see those. Yes, yeah, so we gained 3 fame. We paid 20 for the parade, but we got 880. Wow, we got so much money. We didn't quite get enough for a level up, but like just almost. But definitely increased our fame. So yeah, we wouldn't be able to get that. But uh, do we want to do one more? Promise one more is going to take quite a while, so I don't think I have enough time in this episode to finish it anyway. Let's see if we could recruit somebody new. Yeah. Tiny Joe. Tiny Joe is mostly just blocks. Taunt with impre with impressing and blocks, but it's all pretty... Actually, it's not that expensive. There's a lot of blocks for everybody, but they cost two. This is interesting. Charisma plus one for free and a three draw. Though the three draw can be quite dangerous. Something to keep in mind because, like I said, if you run out of cards, you have to do the shuffle, which gives everybody stress. So this is... It's both a good card, but it's also a very dangerous card. You don't want to play it too much. You know, let's let's do one more show. Possible to do like a quick show? I don't know. We're not gonna advertise this one. We're just gonna go. Same setup. So this time I'll try to focus on the foreman first. So, shuffle your hand into your deck. No, 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 no. Actually, maybe, because these cards are kind of terrible. Let's actually do that, because these cards were really bad. Okay, we could get Impress 4, 6 block for everybody, absolutely, because they're only hitting me for 5, and that's the only thing we can do. But this was really good, because we protected ourselves. This one is going to be probably a lot longer, like maybe 40 minutes episode, but I do want to get to the level up because I'm quite curious how that's going to look. They are not hitting me at all. This guy is reducing his own enjoyment, so fo focusing on him this turn is pointless. So we'll focus on Impress 3. We could give ourselves a block 7 and then do Impress for 3, but that seems kind of... Pointless. Let's just give... Actually, if we give him buff, then I'll use a finger lift on him. And then I use the smash rock on this guy in the middle. Give us something. We only have five cards left, so at the end of this turn we either gotta shuffle some of our cards back in. Yeah, shuffle five random cards from this card into drop our but... They're hitting me so hard for 10 on everyone. This is really, really bad for us. We could get a block of 6, but it's not going to be particularly helpful. Hmm. Then they would all attack this guy, it would be a total of 28 attack. Uh, I think we might actually... Well, actually, but then we can use the shuffle. Let's just buff ourselves and draw some more cards just to see if I could... I've doubled the impress. If I could get rid of at least one of them, that would be really nice. Remove all, bar, all, all juggling balls and get... Eight. Eight plus five is still not enough. If I give myself more buffs. I should still have enough. Do I get some juggling balls buff? No. Still only gonna be eight. Well, we now do have enough cards in our dropout, so we're just gonna... Do we want to taunt everybody and just take 28 damage on our main guy? Instead of having it spread out? Because if you, if you let it spread out, then both of these are going to lose. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do the taunt lift. Which is going to give us to, enough to get this unicycle bonus. And hopefully that will allow us to get rid... Ideally, the miner who is the most on the right... I took the middle one, which wasn't actually so good because we were working on him. We already had six on him, which was really nice, but what can we do, right? Okay. 
We have Impress 2 buff self. What is the foreman doing? Yeah, maybe we should focus on the mine foreman now because last time he just got, gave us more people so that wasn't as good as we were maybe hoping. Next two cards gain five more star traction charges this turn. Five more star traction charges. So this would give us eight star attraction. That's interesting. Should we play this? Shuffle your hand into your deck, draw one card for each shuffled hand. Mm, don't know if that's particularly useful. Let's just keep trying to impress somebody. I can give a block to my main guy and then use the smash a rock to get rid of the block. Not like greatly helpful, but it's something. Oh, he's lowering his enjoyment again. Stop it. I don't think we've got a way to finish him off. Let, let's start with these free cards. Let's see what else we can draw. Could be kind of useful. Oh, and we're getting it for 15 on Zamkat. Double the next impression. This is so this would be impress eight. Or we could just give block all on everybody. One block one for each block card using this performance. This is just a block five. But it's cheaper. So let's get block five at least. Oh, I keep forgetting that I should have used it later. But we can still use the block 3 and this is going to give us enough of a block so that this attack will not um, make us lose a card here, which I think is all that we can really hope for at this point. We are almost enough for another spectacle. We got an enjoyment of 15, which is just entirely removed, but still. Okay. Impress 4. No, let's do Impress 2. Get some buffs. Impress 4, get some more buffs. Okay, we can play the unicycle, so we should be able to get rid of the other miner. Or get a lot of good stuff for the main foreman. We'll see. Let's see. But I'm assuming it's gonna affect the other miner. No, it went on our foreman. That's actually really good. To block... This would give us block 7, which is just enough because he's attacking us for 6. So I'm gonna play this. And this worked out really well because we had zero points here for our unicycle, so the fact that we lost minus two wasn't really a big deal. And let's give a buff to here. Yeah. To Zemka. Right, we're almost done with the foreman. Boo, I hate this thing, you're all so terrible. I actually think we're great, but whatever. Shuffle your hand, draw one card. So give us four cards which would allow us to run out of stuff. Is that what we want? What are you doing? Giving all a mindset. Let's try this actually. Because this should get that to zero. Well, actually it's just gonna give us the card back, so whatever. Block three on Michal. And we can use another unicycle. So let's see who's going to whom it's going to affect. I would like to really get rid of that miner now, but the foreman would be super powerful. So the foreman only needs nine. Okay, the foreman is done. I was gonna say the foreman only needs nine, so we should be able to get rid of Now, the debuff that we gave him lowers the stress effect he does to us, so that's why he's doing zero times five, because he was only doing one damage five times, so by getting that lower, we actually get zero from him. Okay, we lose a card. Let's use this. No, we use that a lot. Let's use the. Who's this Impress 2? But I have the block. And we'll lose this buff. Okay. It doesn't matter. We'll be able to get rid of them this turn very easily. He's not really attacking anybody, so let's just use some impressions. And we'll use remove all buffs and do 27 impress over so done. He was juggling nine balls. Oh, that was so much fun. 
exactly how much money we get, but more importantly, we get our level ups. Yes. 600 for the, yeah, so you can see that it's much lower, even with higher fame, but if you don't do like the parade, which kind of makes sense. All right, so we want to train. We can train Zemka to... We can get a better card. Yes. We could upgrade a card, get a new card, or upgrade stats. I can, oh, I have to click on each one. So we want to upgrade one card, get one new card, and upgrade one stat. Let's do a little bit of everything. So we managed to upgrade this Impress 4 buff self, which now costs zero. That's amazing. Okay, so, so the, you start with the roll, pick options, and then you choose one. Okay, so here we've got Impress 4 buff 1. If you've got Impress 4 plus 1, so this is obviously better. We could get a, essentially two cards of this type, but I think we'll just grab this one. Or plus 1 max HP. This is interesting because the way their attacks usually add up is they have like multiples of 5. So if we give him, if we give her 11 HP, it actually means they have to attack 3 times, which can be quite nice. But I think we're just going to grab this free Impress 4. Now, Timo the Man Lifter, let's train you. We're going to get 3 different card upgrades this time. We could get a smash a rock plus one, which removes a block and give us one for every two block points. I think this originally only cost one. Track flip, buff plus four, we don't care, and block all eight. I was kind of hoping this would be cheaper. This just changes it from seven, from six, I think, to eight, but I think we'll take it anyway. And then Mr. Michal, upgrade, upgrade, new card. Let's do it. How about another joke plus impresses five and lowers their attack by a lot. So this could be very useful. Shuffle seven random card from your discard into your deck or impress three. It's just a new card. I think I'll grab the how about another joke plus. All right. I, this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, run on the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other regular deck builders that we play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.